Jennifer. This was 38-year-old Jennifer Sultan lurching her way past reporters last Friday at criminal court. The initial headline concerned a New York City police officer who stole guns from the lockers of fellow cops so he could pay off a Queens drug dealer because the officer was addicted to painkillers. Are you Jennifer? Jennifer Sultan has her own story, told from a 10-room penthouse in the fancy Flatiron District. More than 10 years ago, she and her boyfriend sold their internet company for $70 million and then blew it all, filing for bankruptcy. You can see the bashed-in door that leads to Jennifer Sultan's penthouse. It was kicked in by police when they did a raid on Thursday night. When we tried to get closer, it set off a sensor. Police say Sultan turned to drug dealing in a desperate bid to keep financing her lavish lifestyle, which included $84,000 in annual property taxes. Her boyfriend eventually peered over the bashed-in door. Sir, are you Mr. Cohen? I am. I just wanted to ask you about what happened with Jennifer. You're on private property. Please remove yourself immediately. Did you go through $70 million? I'm calling the police to be on well, there's a lot of interest in what happened, and we just wanted to know how it was that you went through $70 million. You should remove yourself from this building immediately. Later, we tried to talk to another man with access to the building at 5 East 17th Street. I'm with Channel 11, Mary that Murphy. That doesn't give you a right I, to trespass. I know, but I'm trying to do my job. Yeah, I'm trying to do Do your job outside, please. We left and decided to pay a visit to special narcotics prosecutor Bridget Brennan. The complaint against Sultan mentioned that she'd sold 60,000 painkillers to the Queen's drug dealer. Oxycodone is the drug that Officer Nicholas Mina confessed he was addicted to. The addiction seems to be particularly prevalent among middle class. And so, yes, you will see the policeman, the pharmacist, the physician's assistant, the nurse. An off-duty federal agent picking up cancer medicine for his father was killed in a Long Island pharmacy in January, trying to stop a robber stealing oxycodone. A bottle of pills can sell for $2,400 on the street. Oxy sells for about $20 a pill in New York, as high as $80 a pill in Massachusetts. So you'll see the New York dealers collecting up thousands of pills and transporting them up to Massachusetts for resale up there. Jennifer Sultan was busted for trying to sell a gun, but she could face additional charges very soon. In Manhattan, Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.